Randomness in Pokemon is a blast, but whenever the battles get intense and sweaty is when it's really fun. Today, my friend and I have randomized our starters in Scarlet and Violet 10 different times, but we don't get to see them. All we get to know is their weakness, and if we can guess the exact Pokemon, we can change their ability to any other ability of a Pokemon that shares the same typing. After the 10 rounds are up, we will pick six Pokemon to bring and battle each other. Flip the coin, Lukey. I was hiding it from you as well. Uh, heads. Yes, sir. We don't miss plot armor, Dylan. I'm going to turn around first and tell you your weaknesses. Let's see what you got. Oh, my God. Okay, one of these is going to be really easy. Um, And if you guess it and can give any ability, I'm not going to be happy about that. So do I have to guess the Pokemon or the, the typing it is? Pokemon. Because, like, obviously, if you say electric grass, is the is that's easy. It's water. Yeah, yeah, fair, 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 fair. Okay, hit me. And now you. Your first Pokemon on the screen is weak to Dragon Ice Fairy. Dragon just a pure dragon type. All right, your second Pokemon is weak to Flying, Grass, Electric, Psychic, and Fairy. And your last Pokemon is weak to Fighting, Ground, Steel, Water, and Grass. It's weak to Fighting, Ground, and Steel. That's a, that's a rock type. Ooh, so he's narrowed two of them down, one being Dragon, one being Rock. Which typing would you want? Can you give me, sorry, can you give me the second one again? Flying. Grass, electric, psychic, and fairy. So it's a water type, and there's psychic and fairy in there as well. So it's a water fighting type. Urshifu, Urshifu, Urshifu. Yes, that one. Is that what you want to pick? You can guess on all three of these what they are. Okay, that's a good point. You know, if I get Urshifu, that's great. I'm going to say Polyrath. Though. He nails it! It is Polyrath! Turn one! You don't really need to give Urshifu anything, but Polyrath giving him any other ability from water or fighting is a massive deal. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's have a look at yours. Okay, so you have a shiny on screen, just so you know. Banger. Right, so your first one is weak to fire, ice, poison, flying, and bug. Solo grass type. Has to be. The next one is weak to electric, ground, and rock. Ground? See, electric rock, I think flying, right? But then you throw in ground. And you're Next one is weak to water and ice. This is so much harder, like not seeing it. Oh, is that, wait, wait, wait. Is that fire water? No shot, I got Volcanion. You know, I'm gonna risk it and say that middle one's Volcanion. Okay, so on the left was Grookey. On the right was Shiny Landorus, which I really didn't want you to have. And the middle one was Volcanion. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go. I can't believe we both got one in the first round. That's sick. Okay. Lukey, round one. Both of us getting Pokemon uh, for any ability, which is a nice start. So your next round. Let's see how good you are. This one. Ooh. Sorry, man. It's going to be a rough one. We'll see. Nothing's ever rough when I'm picking. All right. Uh, some things you do are rough, I'll tell you. <laughs> Shut up. Real quick, I'm not going to take a lot of your time, fam. And the product already speaks for itself. Almost a thousand of you have already tried Control this year, and everybody is loving it. And today, you can save up to 30% off with my code to restock or try it for the first time. I'm not even joking. I went to a gas station this week while I was out, and I was picking up just like a Reese's bar, and I looked at the calories, and I'm like, why would I ever pick this over a Control bar? These peanut butter s'more bars have way less calories, it has protein, and it tastes way better. The cookies are delicious and convenient to grab whenever you want, but these, fam, I don't know if Arceus came down himself to make these, but they are so freaking delicious. Just click my link in the description and go to drinkcontrol.com forward slash united. At the top, click bundle builder, and this is where you can save up to 20%, and then my code gives you an extra 10%. And Control actually wants to say thank you to our community and are picking five lucky people to send an extra care package if you've made a purchase this year or within the next week. So you can save up to 30% off the try for the first first time or restock and have a chance to get another care package for free. So click my link down below and try control today. Your first Pokemon from left to right is weak to ground, rock, water, and psychic. Your next Pokemon is weak to, dear lord, fighting, flying, poison, bug, fire, and ice. So pretty much everything. Your last one is weak to electric and grass. Electric and grass is an interesting one. Um, when I think about electric and grass weakness, oh, what the hell? Because there's got to be, it's got to be a dual typing to, to mitigate some of the um, weaknesses that it would normally have. Uh, and it has to also be flying and water. And flying resists grass. So it has to be water plus something else that's what, rock? No, because it's fighting and stuff. So, oh, is it electric grass? Electric grass. Wait, what? You're getting there. You're getting there. Don't worry. Flying, over... resists, flying resists grass. But it's... So, yeah, so it's make, it makes... What, what's, what's going on? Why are you laughing? What's the deal? I, am I trying my thought process? What's going on, man? <laughs> Did you keep doing you, dog? So flying, flying, weak, weak to electric. So that makes sense. There's got to be a flying type. It can't be... You know, if it's a water type, then it's also weak to electric. Hold on. Wait, it could just be a pure water type. <laughs> 
Oh, that's a really complicated one. That has to be a dual type. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Right, anyways. I do think I want the first one because I think a fire type would, be good, would help me my core. So I'm thinking it's fire. Do you have any guess? Is it Charizard? It is not Charizard. This one's hard because ground is double. Oh, it's called ground weakness. It can't be Charizard. What am I talking about? I'm stupid. It is Salazzle. Okay, if I use fire, that's fine. Okay, it's okay. Let's have a peep. Ooh. So your first Pokemon is weak to water, grass, and ice. Water, grass, and ice. Okay. Your next Pokemon Pokemon is weak to fighting and ground. Fighting and ground. Steel? No, but then fire, unless something cancels it out, okay? And the last Pokemon is weak to electric and grass. Don't overthink this one. Listen, I have experience with it. Don't overthink it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. Okay, so last one, water. Um, fighting and ground. I think that's the one that I want. Like, to think of what that is is gonna be really hard. <laughs> you trying to figure out the typing is crazy, I don't know. It's so different. It's so hard. I got no guess. Give me the middle one. Give me the middle one. Fighting ground. I got nothing. Okay, left was Sandaconda, right was Horsey, and the middle Pokemon you got was Steel. It was Steel and Dragon. Oh, how did I not think of that? The August Steel Dragon is the most up. Oh my God. Did I get that or Archaludon? It's Archaludon, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I can't believe I'm thinking about that because I always talk about, yo, the August only got two weaknesses. It's hard when you're in the hot seat. All right, Lukey. Let's turn around and see what you got for round three, baby. Round three, come on down. Okay. Um, I don't think I need any help with these, honestly, which is kind of crazy. On the first Pokemon, you're weak to ground, water, and rock. Hey, I like that. Your next Pokemon is ground, water, rock, and psychic. Don't pick this one. And your last one, now hear me out, it's a, it's a doozy. <sighs> Electric grass. Okay, man. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we got two exact replicas of Pokemon here, except one's got an extra psychic weakness. Oh, that's a really tough choice. Um, I feel like there are a lot of really bad water types. Fire types are a little bit rare, so I'm gonna go fire, I think. Okay, in my opinion, you definitely picked the better of the two. You got a Torkoal, but uh, the water was fine. Oh, I didn't guess. I didn't get to guess. Oh, I should have Oh, said. yeah. It's whatever. It's okay. It's fine. Wait, wait, if I get the electric grass Pokemon right, I'll take the ability, right? It's uh. Deal. Quaxly. You know what's funny? In the video, probably Discord cut it out. I said the Pokemon. It's Finneon. No, I was going to say Finneon. I was actually, I swear I was going to say Finneon. All right. All right. Let's go. You got, you got Dorical. Okie dokie. Oh, let me tell you right now. This is probably your best opportunity. So it's something good that's recognizable and easy to pick. I didn't say anything. That would be the only way it could be my best one. Right, here we go. Unless Are you ready for this or not? Okay, fine. Okay, ready. It's fire, ice, poison, flying, bug. Okay, grass. Then you've got, hear me out on this one, electric and grass. Okay, okay, Walter. And then and this one is ground and psychic. Oh, so solo poison. Oh, what? How is this my best round? It, it's three solo types. Is it? All right, give me the solo grass. I'm thinking it's solo grass. And let me just say it's septile. On the right was Swalot. In the middle was Barrascuta. And you got Cedar. This round sucked. This is amazing. What are you talking about? All right, Lukey, let's turn around, see yours. Ooh. All right, your first one is weak to poison and steel. Poison and steel. Your next one is weak to dark and ghost. And bug. Your psychic type. Your next Pokemon is weak to fire, flying, and rock. So is it just a pure bug type? I think psychic types are pretty well-rounded, especially pure psychic types. I'm going to hit that one. Any guesses? I will be shocked if you guess this. Hypno. Wrong. You're going to be happy, though. You got a Cosmog. <laughs> Go any way that you want, dog. Cosmo, I get Sokaleo and Lunala. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy for you. Here we go. We both have a legendary now. It's balanced. Hey, there's some pretty good Pokemon here, man. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so the first one, hit me out. Electric and Grass. Okay, okay. Middle Pokemon, Electric, Ice, Rock, Ghost, Dark. Electric, Ice, Ghost. And then the last one is Water, Ground, Rock. Oh, um, Ghost Flying, and if it's in the Evolution of Ice Flying, Drift Blim. Are you picking that? Yeah. The left was Blastoise. The right was Flareon. Middle was Drift Blim. Yes, sir! Whoa! I, mean, I don't I... think there are any other Ghost Flying types, actually. It's a very unique typing. That's right? why I jumped on it. Yeah, because I was like, oh, it has to be that line. All right, Lukey, are you ready for your next round? All right. Lukey, are Stop doing that. Don't ever do that. That no. Bad Lukey. Alright, Lu all right, all right, all right, Lukey. You Your first Pokemon is weak to ghost and dark. Okay, well, that's just a ghost type. Your next Pokemon, flying, rock, and fire. Bug type again. Your last Pokemon is weak to fighting, fairy, and bug. Ghost, bug, dark. Um, what pure ghost types are available in this game? I can't think of any crazy ones. 
Dark man, what is that? Oh, Umbreon. Dark Umbreon. Correct. He nails it. We, it's fine. It's fine. You got Umbreon. Any any dark ability, give him. You can make him on the offensive. Make him dark aura. You can foul play. You know. So again, dark gets access to a whole lot of abilities. You have a shiny on the screen. Woo! Shiny log, baby. Right, this Pokemon is weak to fire, fighting, rock, and steel. Okay. The next Pokemon is weak to fire, ice, flying, ghost, and dark. Okay. Okay. And then the next one is weak to fire, ice, poison, flying bug. You know what? It, all these are going to be mid, to be honest. At least I think so. Uh, unless the solo grass type happens to be good, but that's just too hard to guess on what it could be. I, I technically, I mean, we had C dot earlier. Give me the solo ice type and I'll send you last year. On the right was Lorantis. In the middle was Shiny Decidueye. On the left was Avalug. All right, he's not coming. All right, Lukey, let's see. Round six, baby. What do you got? Oh, you have a shiny. You need some chapstick on them lips. Your left Pokemon is weak to rock, ground, water, and that's it. Your next Pokemon on brand, electric grass. <laughs> and your last Pokemon is flying, fire, psychic, and ice. So we got fire, water. Wow, we got fire, water, grass starters. We'll just do it. I'm going to pick the grass one and we're going to go Ivysaur. It is not. It is Victory Bell. Shiny, too. Shiny Victory Bell. Okay. Okay, let's go beep. All right. Okay, okay. The first Pokemon, electric grass. Water. Maybe it's time I just grab one. This one is weak to fire, ice, poison, flying, psychic carry. Okay, it's got to be fighting. And then the last one is weak to ice, rock, dragon, berry. Oh, it's dragon flying. Ooh, give me the dragon and flying, the last one. Okay, you see, if it's dragonite, I just keep multi skill anyway. So I'm gonna say it's Rayquaza. Not Rayquaza. Left Pokemon's Oshawa. Middle Pokemon was Chestnut. The right Pokemon was Noibat. Okay, I like Noivern. He's really fast. All right, I'm in yours. Let's turn around and see your next round of stuff. <laughs> You want to skip this round? No. Your first Pokemon is weak to rock, steel, fire, electric. Okay. Your next Pokemon is weak to flying, rock, fire, electric, and ice. Okay. And your last Pokemon is weak to fighting, rock, steel, fire. There's a lot of dual typings here, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, whenever you hit the... That's how you know you're befuzzled. So I see if I rock, steel, and fire are also super effective against. I don't have to throw. No, 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 no. Just steel and fire. Oh, he's putting it together. He's going to get it in a second. All for this. Ice flying types. I can't think of any. I, I have to. Yeah, I'm going to go the ice flying type. I don't want to say it's Articuno. It is ice flying. It is not Articuno. It is Delibird. <laughs> I didn't even think of Delibird. Okay. Hmm. I don't like this game. You got this. I believe in you. I don't believe in you for what it's worth. Okay, man. So, your first Pokemon, weak to Ugg, Ghost, and Dark. Could be Mewtwo. This one is weak to Electric, Ice, Poison, Rock, Steel. Okay. And the last Pokemon is weak to Fire and Rock. Um, this is this is interesting. The first one is definitely has to be like Solo Psychic. I think I'm just going to go with the middle one and say it's Enamorous. You're right. It's Enamorous. Yes, sir. Next up, Lukey. Let's see what you can do. I want to see some good mons here. Your first one is only weak to Dragon, Fairy, and Ice. I guess it's a Dragon type. Your next one is only weak to Poison, Ghost, and steel. Fairy, uh, fairy psychic. Okay, and your last one, get ready for it. The first time today, which is kind of weird, is only weak to ground. It's just a pure electric type. I don't have a dragon type either, though, so I could shoot for dragon and say it's Dratini. Is that what you want to say? Yeah. It is not. It is a good Pokemon, though. It is uh, Slagoo, so you got Gudra. Oh, I didn't even think about that line. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that, I'll take Gudra. Yeah, Gudra's not a bad mod at all. Okay, here we go. Okay, we have a duplicate on screen. I'll be straight. Don't think you lose on any of these. That's pretty good. Your first Pokemon is weak to fire, ground, ghost, and dark. Ghost and dark. The next Pokemon is weak to fire, ice, poison, flying bug. Okay. The last Pokemon is weak to ghost and dark. A solo ghost type, I think, right? It has to be. I'll, I'll just take the left one. I think it's ghost steel. I, I cannot think of the what it I want you to know you are you are incorrect on two of the typings, but I can't blame you because you are right with how with the super effective this works, but they're also super effective against these other typings too. The middle one was Go Go, the right one was Lunala, and the left one, you're right, is a, you know, it's ghost and steel would make sense to these typings too, but it's actually psychic steel. It's the same thing, got Metagross. I don't get 
get any ability, but I mean, it's meta gross. Like, let's be honest. Uh, ooh, okay. I hope you don't get any ability on these. All right, the Pokemon on the left is Ground, Rock, Ghost, Water, and Dark. Yep. Your next Pokemon is Fighting, Ground, Rock, and Water. Fighting, Ground, Rock, Water. And your last one is Flying, Rock, Water. Fire Psychic on the top one. So then the next one is just fire. And then this next one is then fire and bug. Oh, fire bug. Yeah, I'll take the uh, I'll take the Volcarona, please. You are correct. It is Volcarona. I just got to make sure there's no fire or bug type that gets simple. All right, let's have a peep. Oh, it's a bunch of, a bunch of little guys. A bunch of little guys? You know what? Short kings, we represent. Are they, though? Not all of us are six foot, Luke. All right. Some of us have to compensate in other ways. What do you mean? by that. Okay. We have <clears throat> electric grass. Okay. Okay. Then we have ground psychic. Ground? And that's it? And then we have ice dragon fairy. Oh, and no dupes or you would have said something. But I already have some solid dragons, I think. I'm going to go with the solo dragon and just say Dratini. Ooh. Left was Corfish. Middle was Shrudel. It was not Dratini. It was Dragon. No, I'm joking. It's uh, actually. I didn't actually didn't realize. I wasn't even thinking that they're in the game. Dude, there's a lot of solo dragon types that you don't even think about. Are you ready for me to turn around, baby? Last round. Go for it. Hit me with it. Little lads. Want to pet them? Okay. Your first Pokemon is Flying, Fire, Ice, Bug, and mm -hmm. your next one is Ground, Rock, and Fire. This first one's Fairy for sure. Your next one is we do Ghost and Dark. Okay, so it's a Ghost type. Ground, Rock, Fire. What did I say what this one was? Wait, what did you write down? What three? Uh, Ground, Rock, Fire for the second one. I might have misspoke. It's Ground, Rock, Water. Oh, that was so probably fire. me. I, I think, yeah. <laughs> I think, so you just told me it's Fire type. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna take a I'm taking a big risk here. Okay, I wanna say the grass type, and I'm gonna say petty lil. Yeah, that would have been nice. That would have been good. It is not. Yeah, because uh, assuming Lilligant would have been sick. Uh you got yourself a bay leaf. You got JD. Okay. Okay, JD. All right. The fire was Toracat, and the last one was Ghost. It was Sinisty. Oh, Poltergeist would have been nice. That's a hard one to guess, though, again. The solo the solo types are really, really freaking, they're almost impossible. You have, a, you have two shinies on screen right now. It's Bill Diffy, baby. You know, that's, what can that's I say? That's actually crazy. What can I say? Okay, so your first Pokemon is weak to fire, ice, flying, and bug. Okay. Next Pokemon's weak to fighting. Normal. Mm. And next Pokemon's weak to flying, psychic, and fairy. And then a solo fighting type. I mean, okay, I'll just take the, um, yeah, I'll take the solo fighting type, the last one, and just say it's Machamp. Okay, so on the left was Toad's Cool. Middle was Shiny Lechonk. And then you got Shiny Makuhita. Oh, I'll take a, a Hariyama any day of the week, baby. All right. Well, now it's time to sweat and study and try to go at each other's throats. Good luck, Luke. Let's do it, baby. So the six mons that I brought were Volcanion, Driftblim, Enamorous. All three had custom abilities being Adaptability, Intimidate, Driftblim for being like a switch in mod. Enamorous was Sheer Force just to like scarf it and hope I hit hard. Right, so uh, I'm actually bringing a somewhat surprising collection of Pokemon today. Um, I really did want to bring the um, Polyrath because I could give it any ability, but realistically, I mean, there were some decent abilities on it, don't get me wrong, but it didn't really synergize with the rest of my team after I'd made it. And I was going to go fire water grass core, but looking at Dylan's team, I don't think that that will help me many. Um, so I actually opted to go with more of a fire type team with a uh, drought heat rock Torkoal in the mix. Obviously getting my hazards up. I can also yawn Pokemon, like forcing them to either switch out so I can get my own rocks up or I can, um, you know, force them to switch out into something and then make the read on that switch uh, or just push them into sleep. Like that's a, you know, it's a great option. Um, fully invested in defense and HP, basically. And to pair with that, I brought the Salazzle too because this thing's quite fast. Um, if I get an opportunity to set up a nasty plot um, and I'm in the sun, Flamethrower is doing so much damage. Um, this Pokemon's pretty strong. It's pretty fast. It's, it's one of the faster members of my team, if I if I remember correctly, uh, with a speed stat of 117, um, which I think outspeeds a great deal of his Pokemon. Um, so if I do have the sun up and this thing is just in, like Flamethrowering, anything is pretty good. He doesn't have... The only resistance he has to is Volcano. It's the only Pokemon I have to really worry about. Uh, and then I brought Metagross, Artelunon, and Hariyama. Honestly, I don't have like a set... Uh, like my first three mons with custom abilities, two of them are like my sweet mons. Like I think Adapt ability Volcanion will do really well with like steam eruption and whatnot. But 
I do have um, my Umbreon here, who I've actually opted to go bold on because I'm running Intimidate. Um, he does have Metagross. He does have Haxorus. He does have Hariyama um, and Avalug if he decides to bring that. So I did go Intimidate and uh, physically defensive on this thing. Um, it already has really good special defense. Um, so I don't really have to stress too much. The, I, honestly, the part of me wants to switch to EVs down and make it specially defensive anyways, because if I'm Intimidated, I can actually run both. So I'm actually going to, I think I've made, I'm going to commit to that. I'm going to change it special defense stats. Probably going to invest in special defense instead of physical defense. Honestly, looking at his team again, like he's got a lot of special attackers uh, and Umbreon's going to be great for, you know, bringing it in on those and wishing and protecting. But Intimidate also, again, uh, helping boost my defense. So I honestly don't even need to invest in my physical defense. I don't know what I was thinking there. I'm really scared about Luke bringing Lunala with Shadow Shield. Like that's one thing I'm terrified of. So I'm hoping Driftblim can do something with that. Also like Mons, like Hariyama that can learn knockoff, I think can do a lot. The next Pokemon is my Volcarona and I chose to go heavy duty boots on this. I've got the adaptability uh, to boost up my fire and my grass type moves. The second I get a Quiver Dance off, I'm basically an extra, I'm actually plus two technically because I get the extra stab off a of Fiery Dance and Bug Buzz. I have Terra Blast too to go rock type so I can actually hit every single one of his members of his team for super effective damage outside of maybe like the dragon types, um, Arcaladon and Haxorus and the Hariyama, I believe. So it's like everything else I can hit for super effective damage with Terra Blast Rock. Uh, Terra Blast Rock hits Enamorous, Noivern, um, Volcanion, and the Driftblim for super effective damage. So like I thought I'd cover his entire team. If the opportunity arises, I can just, you know, smash through the majority of his team. I even ran Enamorous Terra Dark so I could actually do something there. But Driftblim literally only has one attack being Hex and the rest is just like Defog if he sets up rocks. Thunder Wave, Will O Wisp, um, and he's just ran like I think a bold, um, and he's got Intimidate. He's just a switch in and try to hurt off like Polyrath or Umbreon or uh, Victory Bell. Um, yeah, so he's just a switch in, a Namorous. As I said, Choice Scarf, um, Sheer Force. Literally, there's not much else it needs. It has Psychic, Moonblast, Earth Power, um, and it's Terra Dark. So, oh wait, no, actually, I, I I take that back. I did go Terra Fairy. I was originally gonna do that, but I was like, yo, let's just go for the full damage. Um, but I did do Terra Dark on Metagross with Knock off and also gave him stealth rocks i plan to lead though archer ludon and i ran him stamina and spadef up which i know that's kind of stupid like for him he's a bulky mom with stamina but the main reason i did that is luke has uh lunala Gudra, Vol uh, Volcarona with any ability, right? Volcarona? No, Vol yeah, Volcarona any ability. I don't even know what he could do there, so I ran him up and sped a uh, special attack. He's probably running heavy duty boots, but I'm still gonna put up Stealth Rocks. And I'm running him Light Clay and Light Screen because he has such big special attackers if he brings what I think he brings. Um, we have Shadow Shield Lunala. I was gonna go with Solgaleo, but I didn't know if he wanted to take advantage of the fire, uh, so I just went with Shadow Shield. I have no way of recovering my HP back to full uh, for the Shadow Shield. Um, but I wanted to make sure I covered his entire team. So we got Moon Guys, Beam, Focus Blast, Moon Blast, just to hit basically everything with super effective damage. If I get one car mined up, this Pokemon is honestly not that fast. Um, is it, what, what speed is it? It's only 97. Um, which speed ties with the hand for his Pokemon. Like Haxorus is a name, like namely is 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 a speed tie with this Pokemon, I think. Uh, I know I outspeed like Metagross and stuff. So Moon Guy's Beam is going to be amazing to like, take those Pokemon out. Uh, and then I have Hariyama uh, with Flame Orbs and I ran him Guts. Like, I, like no one ever does that. Everyone always runs him like um, Thick Fat, but Luke only having one fire type being Volcarona and having um, no like ice types or anything. It doesn't really make a lot of sense for me. Um, I mean, if he brought Gudra technically, or not Gudra, Delibird, he could. Uh, Torkoal or Salazzle. I don't think he's going to bring both of those when he... He might bring Torkoal for Drought and bring Volcarona, so maybe that was a misplay there, but I ran Thick Fat. I mean, I ran um, Guts so I can get damage off with Drain Punch and Knockoffs. Uh, knockoff is pretty much good against his entire team, but even if he switches into Umbreon for the Knockoff, I just Drain Punch and it does good damage anyway. But yeah, my startup mod is definitely Archaludon hopefully able to set up rocks in a screen with light clay, which I don't think he's going to expect it being especially defensive mon because like no one ever, ever does that for no reason. But he doesn't have a lot of physical mons like besides Polyrath. Like that's me. I mean, Victor Bell can like power up and stuff. Everything else is special. So there's no reason to run him. I mean, in a way, I could have actually grabbed something like Noivern for this, but like Avalug, obviously he's physically bulky. I got a lot of physically bulky mons against a special attacking team. So um, and then I have another. OK, my team is really Bulky. Um, a shadow, I have a Shadow Shield mod, I have Torkoal, I have Umbreon, and now I have Gudra, um, who is Assault Vested with Draco Meteor knockoffs Gold Sludge Bomb. Like, Skull is obviously going to be amazing to burn any of, his, any of the physical attackers that do come in, um, such as Metagross and Hariyama. I'm a little bit scared about the Haxorus. He might end up bringing it in on it. I don't know, though. Uh, and I, I opted for Gooey as well, because speed control in these games is so, so important. If I do get 
killed by a physical attack from, say, Haxorus, who's dragon danced up, um, then I at least can then reduce its speed by one stage uh, and maybe count, uh, revenge kill it with something else. Uh, knockoff, obviously, is just great utility. Skull is great utility. Sludge Bomb covers the Enamorous, also great utility. And Joker Meteor just hits pretty hard, and I'm, uh, I'm in the timid nature for the extra power. But we'll see how that works out. Um, but it's a it's a de decent team. Um, I only really want to Terra with, like, Metagross, to be honest, because he didn't really get, like, any fairies. The only finding type, he has Polyrath. Um, Enamorous is going to be my best mon, I, I think, with Sheer Force uh, and Moonblast. And if I fairy Terra, double stab Moonblast, Sheer Force, I don't care if you run Victory Bell in there or a Steel type. It hurts Gudra, a very thick special mon, uh, which will be really nice. Meganium, it'll hit hard. Volcarona, it, it's just a good mon if I can get it in. Um, I don't want to lead with it because I do want to get rocks up in case he's running Sash or Volcarona. This, this is a lot different to prep for 10 Pokemon versus 6, especially with their regular abilities because I'm so used to doing randomized. So good luck, Luke. If I had to guess, if I, I honestly, I have prepped for the majority of his team. I don't really have a guess on the 6 he's bringing. It's pretty obvious that he'll go with Volcano. It's pretty obvious that he'll bring Enamorous. I don't know if he'll bring Drifblin, um, but I see Metagross, Haxorus, Enamorous, Volcano, Noivern because Noivern's fast. Uh, coming out but um yeah i don't know there's there's, there's options for him so all right what mons did he bring how wrong or right was i yeah he is running like a sun team i should have brought my thick fat i predicted four he didn't bring polyrath any ability polyrath i'm actually really surprised about that volcarona any ability but he has a lot of fires and i brought rocks so in a way that's good um but once again like archiludon was actually a terrible bring besides light clay let uh light screen he's actually terrible umbreon he's fat uh volcarona special lunala special gudra spe well gudra could kind of do both i guess but uh torkoal special drought i feel like he might be the lead so i'm still gonna stick with my archiludon i don't think anything he can do can one shot me and i want to get rid of his rocks and if he does do hazards i do have the limpy that has defog if he does do hazards um, and gets me in a pickle, I can get out of it. Oh, he did bring the Drifblim. He actually did bring the Drifblim. That's quite interesting. I don't think he's expecting me to bring the Mons that I have. When I think about his lead, honestly, there's a part of me that doesn't even want to lead with my, I forget his name, Torkoal. So I think that maybe he leads with Volcanion off Rip. And I don't really want to have to deal with that like straight away. Maybe I need Umbreon because I get the Intimidate off straight away just in case. And then also I can Toxic the um, the Volcanion if I need to, making the Water type moves weaker. And I can also Wish Pass as well if I absolutely need to like to take the hit. I do want to get my Sun set up straight away. Ideally, but I genuinely think he's leading with that Volcanion. I have Intimidate for any of the other physical attackers that want to come in anyway. So if he does, if he does lead one of those physical attackers, I can switch into uh, anybody <laughs> and basically sit there in front of it. So we at the beach, baby. He leads with an Umbreon. Okay, I'm actually all right with this. I'm actually all right with this lead because he might immediately think that I have body press and he intimidates. So I need to, I need to like write that down. That's his ability for Umbreon. This is an interesting Pokemon to lead with. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I have no idea what Arcaludon wants to do, nor do I know what his base stats are. And I'm also not even sure if I'm allowed to check. I feel like I should be able to look at like his, what his base stats is. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set up rocks. Um, I don't know what he's gonna do, but he's definitely gonna be, uh, dealing with this, the whole battle at least. What does he go? He sets up a wish. Interesting. Yeah, Alcaladon sets up his rocks and is mostly, honestly, like he uses body press a lot of the time, which is interesting. So he's probably just thinking I was gonna go for body press there and he's gonna set up wish, but now, I mean, I got my rocks up. Okay, so I'm actually gonna, I think what I am gonna do is I'm, I should've gone with my original plan, which is unfortunate. I, I kind of over, over predicted, I suppose. And now this is gonna be a little bit of a weird one for him, seeing a light screen, because this is not how he's ever run, right? It's not. Okay. But I'm gonna go into, um, my boy and just hope that he's not special even though he has really good special type body press is a very common set to be running on this thing look at that good rock damage he's gonna bring out the sun too he's probably holding a heat rock but this is exactly what i was expecting so i run light screen on him so at least i should be able to take his hits relatively well now and he sets up a light screen interesting okay so he's, he's he running is he running clay uh, i might yawn Actually, I think he might switch out here, so I'm gonna yawn instead of just going straight for my rocks. This is a pretty obvious switch in for me because I'm fire uh, water. 
He yawns. So he guaranteed falls asleep now. The question is, is the, do I... I feel like I do live a water type attack considering the sun is up right now. So I am... I'm going to Stealth Rock. I have the light screen up. I am going to immediately switch because I'm not dealing with that. There's no way he predicted that and yawned again. I went out to Genie because, I mean, I can I can hit him with Earth Power, Sheer Force, which should do a lot of damage. There is the Stealth Rocks. He doesn't stay in. Cool. Big for us. I can get my rocks up and he hasn't got Volcano. He doesn't have Volcano on him, which is nice. Okay, Genie comes in. Get my own Stealth Rock set up right now. He has no flying type, so bringing Earth Power for this was actually so, so dummy. What does Enamorous like to do right now? Does she get, like, Earth Power? I really don't remember what Enamorous does. A lot of my special Pokemon, um, my, my special defensive Pokemon are weak to Fairy, which is like a big, which is a big shame. I need to get Rapid Spin off right now. I think you switch. You might even go to Lunala. You might go straight to Sol No, there's no way you go to Salazzle. You don't go to Salazzle. There's no way. Obviously, he's poisoned. He's a good counter to my Enamorous. This should do a lot. Let's go. That's sheer force, man. Oh, he does actually, he just, I didn't expect that at all. That's cr that's crazy to just launch an attack off like that when I have so many Pokemon in the back that can put a stop to that. Unfortunately, now that that's gone, I can't. Oh yeah, my, my Focus Sash Mon is basically a dud unless I get a Wish Pass off. So that being gone, I that really, I, if he is running a Sun Team, that's really nice that that's already gone. Running Earth Power on him with Sheer Force is just so freaking good. It is so good when you bring three Fire Types. I mean, Volcarona, obviously, don't get me wrong, is Fire Bug. And I'm also Scarfed. He might not know that. Because I could go into Ra right now, um, and I could Terra to Rock, or I can go safe and go to... It might be, it might be choice. I'm gonna go to my Gudra. Is he obvious? He, actually, he, he's definitely not gonna know that. He goes out of the Gudra. Okay. Which is an interesting play when I'm fairy. I'm obviously like very fat. Like I, I, I want, I'm gonna read the choice item first and foremost. What does Gudra do? He did bring Metagross. He could read the poison type move. In. Maybe I go for knockoff. Dang, dude, I probably should have brought Dragon. Po I have nothing super effective besides my fairy on this. I'm just gonna go for Sludge Bomb. I'm just gonna go for damage. I also get the opportunity to poison something. He is gonna see that I'm running Intimidate, so he's gonna probably immediately write that down. It's like, okay, this thing is is an Intimidate mod. Um, but I'm going to Blimpy. The rocks are definitely going to hurt. I should have brought Strength Sap, man. So there's the Intimidate. Blimpy comes in. Okay, so he brings in the he brings in the Drift Blim. I don't really know what Drift Blim is. Oh, he brought oh, okay. He brought Intimidate. That's okay. okay. We had the same idea then. Apparently, I'm gonna pop the I'm gonna pop the, pop the Sludge Bomb. I'm gonna get the Poison. Okay, don't get the Poison, but I got the Crit. Sludge Bomb. Okay, that does literally nothing. And yeah, that was a Crit. Okay, so he knows that I'm, this is my switch in Mon now. It's my bulky Mon. Dang, those Shrink Sap would have been nice, especially with all the rock damage. This is a free play to go for T-Wave here. It's an absolute free play for whatever he goes to. This is gonna be able to be annoying. He has no electric type, he has no ground types. This is a free, free thing for me. I can get my own Intimidate off. And I just wanna know what he's up to. Cause if he, if he burns me, it's like, that's cool. Thunder Wave, that's fine as well. I'm not. Not stressed. I'm gonna go ahead and get that T-Wave off. He intimidates me, that's fine. This thing is literally only in here for, uh, to be a switch in. The only issue is, now I can't really defog because he has this thing out and that's not what I really wanted to deal with. Honestly, I should have played my Torkoal better. Like, I, I really didn't think he'd go just straight for Earth Power, but like, having, having the sun, my sunset gone kind of puts a massive dent in the strat. This thing might foul play right here. I am gonna go, do I go straight for my fighting type? I feel like I do. I'm gonna go straight for, straight for my fire, fire type. That, his Intimidate's already gone. I don't think he can do anything to Hariyama. And I can go for knockoff with Guts. Like knockoff, it, it'll at least get his lefties gone if he does have lefties. He might even wish right here. Does he wish? No, full para. So I don't even know what he does. But this is a free knockoff for me because it's at least going to get rid of his lefties if he stays. I'm fought. That's, that's actually, that sucks. That's actually crazy. One and quarter chance for the paralysis, by the way. Uh, okay, so I can't intimidate him. Is he going to, he's not going to fake out. Oh, he's flame orb. Okay, so if I had toxic him, that would have made much of a difference anyway. So he's, he's, he's definitely, so he's guts. Okay. So I'm going to immediately, yeah, bulk up's no point. I'm running him. I, I definitely go straight for the knockoff here. I like to think that he's going to, knock off here. That's what, that's what I think he's going for. Yep. We'll take that. That's fine. Full para. Again. We got rid of his lefties. That's really nice. He does wish. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's, the, that's, what, that's, what, that's what I thought. 
Leftovers is gone, unfortunately. I get my wish off. He might predict me to switch. I don't think this wish is for himself. The sunlight is gone and he can't bring it back out, which is really nice. I don't think this wish is for him. And there's my light screen. I don't think he can do anything to me. I'm actually gonna knock off again because I think he's wishing for something else. This is where the games happen because if he knocks off on my nephew, a guts, no guts knock off will probably just kill me. Um, and a lot of my other Pokemon. So uh, so it's, it's kind of a tough one. I, I, have, I have to be very careful with, with how I do this. I think he switches to something. I don't know what. And even if he doesn't, I don't think it does enough damage to be able to do anything to me. I think I'm actually okay here. I honestly think I might just foul play and mess with him a little bit. I feel like it's the best thing. Yeah, yeah. See, he, he, thought, he thought I'd switch out. Just fine. I get the foul play off with the guts boost as well. Gonna do some okay damage. No, he does stay in. He tried, he, that was a good read. That was a good read. Full para. That's some good damage. The thing is now, I kind of have to go for the Dream Punch and he knows that, I think. Do I think he's gonna go for Knock Off again? Yo, you cheeky cheeky. He is smiling, you cheeky. Oh. I'm gonna protect because I want to see what he's going for. Yeah, there's the drain punch. So now, now, now it's like, what do I do? I probably should have just went straight for the drain punch. It's just if he did get a free switch into that Lunala, that would have been rough. But there's no point in him when he knows I have knockoff. It's a tough situation. I really don't have. I really don't have anything to switch out into right now. While I would like to, I think maybe the best of both worlds might be terroring here. I feel like if he goes to Lunala, that is a ballsy switch. Oh. He is burning his Terra on Umbreon. Intimidate Umbreon. Poison. Okay. I am very interested in this. I guess that's for the Enamorous. Maybe he has Terra Blast, Terra Poison on this thing. Yeah. Doesn't do as much. And I can probably stall them out with Wish and um, Foul place. Dang, dude, I could have ran Zen Headbutt on this thing too. Okay, so he's got Wish, Foul Play, Protect. I couldn't risk going into Lunala because, I, yeah, dude, that, that would be, if he just made the right read, the right call, that would be really bad. Okay, so he does switch out, that's fine. I get guaranteed, I don't miss on Toxic now, at the very least, being Poison type. Because now that he's Poison, I can't really do anything to him. But him burning his Terror right now is not horrible for me. Foul Play. Okay, doesn't do too much. Now, he knows I went to this for some reason. I don't think he wants to get rid of his Intimidate Mon right now. I want to poison this thing. I get my wish back, so I'm back to full health. I don't think that Volcanion does much to me anyway, so I'm going to throw out the Toxic. Earth Power is going to be really good damage on a lot of things, though, but I think I just go for Steam Eruption because of adaptability, and it's going to hurt more things because I have adaptability. Can I get a full pair out there? It is. That is so huge for me. Oh, he still rips me. Yeah, that's fine. That's half. There's no way. <laughs> that's so unlucky. Okay, now with that, I think Earth Power would do the trick. Dang, steam eruptions more. Oh no! That's just Pokemon 101, man. I have to hope for a min roll. I have to. Oh, no, they're probably gonna kill me now. Yeah. No, it doesn't kill me. It's not stabbed. Wow. Sick. That's actually so bad. I mean, I could even miss Steam Eruption here. I could. I could have. Dang, that's a dagger. He would have definitely been wishing right there. His Terra gone and his Intimidate Umbreon gone is really, really big for me. That's why Dripwim Thunder Wave was just so worth it to bring. Two in a row. I would rather have taken one of the paralysis on the Hariyama than have two in a row against Volcanion. That's really unlucky. Is there now an opportunity to calm mind and start throwing out attacks with Nebby? He brings out Nebby. Okay, so Cosmic Power, Shadow Shield. This is really, 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 really not good. And it's also heavy duty boots. The best case scenario, he switches out right now and I retain Shadow Shield. I think he Cosmic Powers here, which sucks for me, dude. This this thing is the main thing I was worried about. I don't see, but they, you also might not read that I'm setting up. That is so big for us. That's really good. Unless this thing is AV, but like I have, I have Focus Blast. I'm plus, if I'm plus one here, does he want to see, he, I think his goal is to set up the light screen, right? Oh, he calm minds instead. That's actually okay. 
I thought it was gonna cosmic power. I'm gonna launch the focus blast and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see if I can melt this Arcalo Dawn. What's his special defense like? Is it good? Oh he missed! Dude. <laughs> this game is not treating me well at all. Brother! Alright, now I know he has focus blast though. Oh, double power on the Volcanion. I missed the focus blast. Okay, he does get another Calm Mind up now. We're gonna get rid of his Shadow Shield, though. He also has probably Moonlight to heal. Foul play. Yeah, that's a Shadow Shield coming into play, and that's a crit. Dude, <laughs> this is actually crazy. Foul play is gonna do a frick ton, and a crit! Yo, the plot armor is strong right now. If it, if, he, if, it, if I miss again or he, or he survives it, that's just... Okay, there we go. If he survives it now... He's plus two. I built specially. A light screen. Building specially. I knew it would be stupid or sound stupid to most people. Yeah, that's so that's that is that is so unlucky. If I had killed with the focus blast there, uh, uh the original one, then it would have been fine. I, uh, that's yeah. I knew it sound dumb, which I mean the crit really didn't matter because I would have killed that anyway right there. But it's still just the, the fact of the matter is, right? Like, I got a crit there. I have no idea. I, the, the newer Pokemon here don't really do me any favors either. I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I guess I go to Gooksius is the best I've got. All right, Gudra is another thing that is not what I want to see, really. I feel like knockoff... No, he's, he's just he's stamina, right? I think I have to I have to Draco if I even want to kill this thing. Dude, I, I can't catch a break. <laughs> that's, that's so stupid. I guess I just flash cannon. Yo, my guy's gonna think he's being pranked. Poor Lukey, man. Oh, I feel so bad. He's also hungry right now, too. It's times like this will remind remind me why I quit playing like competitive Pokemon. Now we bring out the fairy. This thing was a menace, though, and I think he honestly could just sweep now. I'm gonna go straight to the Salazzle. It, it also uh, helps me by stalling a turn of the light screen. Um, sheer force. There's no point to Terra, actually. I was gonna Terra, but there's really no point. No, he just goes to Moonblast. Okay, so I, I do quad resist that. If he has the special attack drop chat, I'm done. Okay. I don't kill. Light screen's up, unfortunately, but I should be able to at least put it in decent range where Fiery Dance can maybe do something. Oh, the switch out's good. The switch out's good for me. Oh, hold on. I got cool. We'll go to my adaptability. We'll go to him just because he's uh, obviously being... Um... Oh, he's taking it. I'll wait. Oh, he's taking his order. He hits the sludge bomb. I should be able to live one. Yep. I'm gonna let him get his food. So the best play for me here, I think, is just go for adaptability uh, steamer option. But I'm pretty sure I'm just killed with sludge bomb. So, yep. I am killed. That's okay, though. Metagross isn't helpful in the rest of this fight. I need to know if this guy is scarfed or not. If he switches right now, he is scarfed. This screams scarf. But I don't really have any, um, I don't really have any choice. Okay. Damn. He goes down. That's fine. Because that's the only, that's the info I needed. That's all I needed. Because now I can go out to Genie and outspeed. Okay, no, wait, 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 wait. This, now this, this screams scarf to me. Or some kind of choice item, right? Yep. He absolutely knows that I'm scarfed. He's probably going out to the Gudra. He is. Yeah, psychic's right there. Okay, Psychic's fine. 71 to 38. Does he know how close that is? He doesn't want to risk it. It's fine. If I can get poison on someone else, and every time he brings that thing in, he takes HP. If he's faster, because I think he's scarfed, he's scarfed in the sludge bomb. He outspeeds and wins. Oh my god. I'm actually high outspeed. That's great. Oh, it doesn't kill. It doesn't kill. The leftovers saved him. He thunder waves me. Um, now I'll outspeed. The question is, does poison go? Poison goes through first. I thought lefties might go through first, and I would have been able to live. Um, but it's fine. I'd obviously Draco meteored, so I couldn't. Did I Draco meteor? Wait, did I Draco meteor? I forget my my type. Maybe I could have just used Scald, but I feel like Knock Off was the better was the was the better player though. I have no idea what the damage range is. Whatever. I've been unlucky the entire game. We do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here comes him. What the frig is this thing? How do I'm that slow? I'm that slow. I'm still faster, which is actually crazy. That's so insane. <laughs> I'm still faster. <laughs> Yo, that is insane. Enamorous it is. What's the terror typing here? What's the terror typing? He could, he could late game sweep me right now with terror blast if he had like, a, if he sucks the right one. Moon blast times two sheer force. Volcarona's taking that. 
I can't believe he outsped me. Volcanion, Vol Volcarona should be okay. Only because I have the heavy duty boots. That's the only reason. Heavy duty boots, of course. Yeah, it's choice. It is choice. This is this is pretty close. It's actually closer than it looks. But it doesn't do doesn't do half as enough. Nah, it doesn't do enough damage. That's GG. Good, good hit. That was a good battle, man. That was a fun one. That was a good game, though. That was a really fun battle.